Hey guys, Bobby1653.24 here. Welcome to part 7 of Bobby1653.24 on vacation. Honestly, I didn't think I would have this many parts. My phone's memory is starting to get filled up. So yeah, um, right now I am on deck 14.5. That's right, this is deck 14.5. Down there is deck 14. This is 14.5. I think that this is the highest that any passenger can go. Of course, crew members could get up there. A whole bunch of lounge chairs just like stopped. We've got that weird, we've got weird little things here. This is the front of the ship. Oh look, there's another camera. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and oh my god. Look at that. That's a horn. Right there, that uh, in the center column. Well, uh, I'm pointing to the horn right now. That's the horn. Oh, I hope they, they don't. I hope they don't sound it while I'm up here. Talk about major eardrum bustage. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, it is kind of windy up here. Well, since of course this is the top of the ship. Well, not entirely, but still, it still is pretty windy. So follow me. I know you, you. You can go ahead and just lead the way. I'm just following you. Behold the world's largest shower. Oh yeah, the big knobs don't actually work. There is actually a smaller knob. Yeah. Anyways, um, you have a uh, perfect view of the pools up here. Whatever that thing is. Behold the pool from deck 14. See, look, there's 12, there's 13. Oh, I dropped my. Phone. Don't you dare blow away. Don't, nope. Okay. Okay, so yeah, there you go. That's deck 14. I, I, don't, I don't see anything that says that this is a crew area. I think I just found deck 15. Okay, yeah, now this is the absolute highest that any single passenger could go. Oh my gosh, deck 15! There's there's not really a whole lot to see. The higher up you go, the less there is to see. The most that there is to see is on deck 6. That's why on all the elevators, deck 6 has the star next to it. I think that's the reason. Okay, now how do I get... How do I get out of here? Oh, there's the staircase. I can actually remember I um, came up here on the first day. Button activated door. Okay, but anyways. Yeah, I came out there on the first day. I went up the stairs to deck 14. I got up to deck 14.5. After that, I was. After I spent three minutes looking and trying to find the down staircase to get back down to 13. But I found it. Let's go down. That was quick. Going down. See, deck six has the star next to it. There's most. There's a whole lot to see. So um, let's go to deck six. See. We'll check out the Mardi Gras Lounge. The Mardi Gras Lounge is for adults only, but since there's really nothing going on, I could get in there. In fact, that the bar in there isn't even open. So yeah, <laughs> and they had their white shut up. They had their white up. They had the white hot party last night, which you saw in part six. Yeah, there's nobody in here, so we can go ahead and go in. This is going to be like the only time I can get in here. Because other than that, it's restricted. But since the bar is closed and since there's also nobody else in here, I can get in here. So that party must have been intense. They left the DJ table standing. Oh my gosh, this floor is so trippy. I mean, you have to be here in person to fully understand their trippiness. All right, yeah. Well, uh, Mario Girl Lounge. I'm noticing a theme. Main colors, purple, 
green and gold. They still have their little things hanging from the white hot party last night. Of course, the video that you saw in the last part was the teen white hot party. Okay, so, um, that's right, um, we're going to this tonight. Said to be about three or four hours, but that's going to be a problem. Because also tonight, they are having their, um, the theater department is having their best show ever, as some people call it. Oh, they are. rock hula that, that was really the one I was looking for. Hey, they turned on their sign. It changes colors. Watch. See, it went from green to blue. Okay, but anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm, oh. Oh, 9.30. I can actually make it. Hmm. Normally, they have two showings. But if they have one showing... That means they probably have some, like, pyrotechnics in there or something. Because they can't reload those. They can't reload those between shows because people are, people are already in the theater. And by people, I mean me. I like to help clean up at the end. Well, anyways. Oh, wow. I've already gotten over the five-minute time limit. My phone's going to run out of memory. Um, one last thing. You can tell that you're approaching the end of your cruise when you have this set up. Here's when you can choose what time you would like to leave us. Need a tissue? Just pick the luggage tag color that best fits your travel plans. <laughs> Look at that. Nobody wants the maximum time, 9 o'clock. You only got a certain number left. Well... Um, the most looks like that 810 people aren't, looks like people are going to be leaving at 810. Wait, maybe it's 820, I don't know. Still, it, it's going to be hard leaving. I always have the same sad feeling on the last day. And look what's behind these doors. Thankfully there is a, there's enough of a crack. We took our picture in front of that on the first day. Let's go over here. That's the door that we came through on the first day. That's the door we'll be leaving through on the last day. Ugh, it's kind of sad. Oh, anyways, I always have this sad, same sad feeling on the last day of cruise. Knowing that may what? Um, that's dangerous. I'm guessing that that elevator is out of service now. Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to deck four and push the elevator button. If nothing happens, then yeah, well, we'll know. All right, let's try it. Ah, I see what they did there. Okay. Eh, not really that much on deck four. Yeah. Hmm, oh well. Well, yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Click on the annotation in the top right to watch the next video. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Stay sexy.